Hello, everyone. This is Nicole Schwartz with the Diana Initiative, and we are back with Hacker Summer Camp 101. Today, we have Ken with us. Could you introduce yourself? Hey, my name is Ken May, a.k.a. DJ Sive. And, awesome. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I hear that you are going to tell us about GothCon. What is GothCon? Yeah, so GothCon is a really fun party at DeathCon. Uh, DEFCON. We, uh, yeah, I'm in the Death Star, so I was thinking Death, but we started off honestly kind of as a joke at NOLACON. And then at our first year of doing it at uh, DEFCON just a few years ago, this is uh, four years ago at this point, it was just a kind of a flash mob, like a bunch of us nerds, Clever Cat, Psychosis, myself, a few other people. We said, uh, hey, let's, uh, let's, let's do a big goth meetup at the bar. And there was a lot of us. <laughs> so we're like, oh, wait a minute. Like, we should see if we could actually, you know, do something formal and like actually have some good music playing. And, and surprisingly, I guess DT's team like was down with it and they gave us the okay. And we've grown every single year. I mean, it's, it's only been, it was only our third time as a proper party. And we have, it's gone up exponentially like the size and, and the room that we've needed. And it makes me so happy because, you know, a lot of the attendees at DEF CON were kind of, you know, hackers are kind of outcasts already typically, right? Like there's oftentimes, you know, that sort of social sort of isolation or whatever, maybe some slightly sometimes self-imposed, you know, maybe not. And we kind of really feel like, the goth community is sort of like, you know, the outcasts of the outcasts, you know? So it's, it's wonderful to have an event for not just people that love the aesthetic, but also kind of, you know, misfits of misfits have a place to just kind of let our freak flag fly and hang out. And, you know, everybody's welcome and just enjoy having a good time. We're not a, we're not like, a village or a community yet we're just literally just a party but we're just grateful that they've been giving us room to to rock out and that's kind of what a lot of the defcon things are about is finding people who are all interested in the same thing and in this case it's they're all interested in either that aesthetic or in you know just that kind of vibe so that has been great that you've been growing and hopefully you'll be back again this year so much of that people. because of the, the, the team behind it too. Like everybody, none of us, we're not making a penny off of doing this. Quite the opposite. You know, we've spent all kinds of, of time and, and money to, to make this happen. But between the leader, the GothCon leadership team and all the other people volunteering, I mean, it's so obvious that it's a passion thing. And I think that really comes through. Like people show up and they're like, whoa, this is legit. <laughs> For anyone who's not aware, all of the parties, events, villages, contests, that is not a paying position. So everybody gets together and volunteers, paying their own way, paying for their own hotels, paying for the supplies. So when you see them selling things, that's usually, you know, what they're trying to recoup. Little fundraiser things like we, one of our team designed, has designed a few times now, our own little badges. Oh, I should have one nearby. I don't have one. It's in the other room. Our last ones were these cool like LED light up Ouija board ones that were kind of also tarot based. And we had many, many different designs and kind of try to collect them all sort of thing. So those definitely help defray the costs a little bit. So hopefully we'll have some more things like that next year. Maybe I think we're talking about getting t-shirts again or something too would be cool. Now, if I'm a kid or if I'm brand new, am I welcome to attend this party? Yeah, totally. So DEF CON itself is all ages, and so is our party. And in fact, I was able to work things out where one of my kiddos was able to come and enjoy the party last time. And that I can't even tell you how happy that made me to see them just rocking out full force having no idea what they were doing and loving every moment of it out there i think one of their shoes flew off actually at one point and and i'm i'm up there especially when like when i'm on the decks too like i'm so focused on what i'm doing 
I have to remind myself to look up and like connect with the crowd because it, it makes a really big difference when they feel like, yo, he sees me. He sees that I'm rocking out. Yeah. You know, because we, we feel that and you like kind of like feed off of it. Right. So it helps me rock out harder. And I'm looking out there and I'm seeing my little my little dude just rocking out. It just made me so happy. So, yes, yes, they're definitely kids are welcome. We work very, very hard to make sure we have a safe event inside an already safe event. And I think DEF CON does a really good job of making sure that there's lots of goons keeping an eye on things. And then we have our own goons, some of whom are also goons, some of whom are just sort of like volunteer goth goons. And a lot of us are parents too. So we, we really want to make sure that everything is as safe a space as we can make. Now, do I need to do anything ahead of time? Do I have to bring anything with me? So if I'm going to attend this party, is there like a pre-sign up or like a clothing, like you have to wear these things? Not at all. I think the only thing you need to bring is a good attitude because you, we can be depressed and, and mopey, but as long as we're not like, you know, cramping on somebody else's style, then that's totally fine. It's awesome when everybody like goes all out and dresses up all dark, but there's people there in, you know, white t-shirts and, and tall like normie clothes and all that. And that's fine. As long as, you know, nobody's like mocking anybody. Like we, we don't want to see people there who are there just to sightsee and sort of like finger point and be like, Ooh, look at the gods, you know, but otherwise, you know, sometimes we're a person's very first window into a, a witchy awakening. And, <laughs> and I love that. I've had people come up to me and say, oh my, I've wanted to go to like a goth like rave like my whole life ever since high school. And this, this is my first time I ever got to actually go to something. So you like fulfilled like a life dream for me. I was like, dude, we're just having a party. That's awesome. Like, I'm so happy we could do that for you. <laughs> yeah, it's not all I get to check off a list for something. For exactly. Life goals. Well, and if nothing else too, I think for folks that are, maybe a, a little more mainstream seeing this many people together, enjoying the aesthetic, enjoying the music, enjoying, you know, the dancing and all that might open them up to like different things as well too. So I'm not going to say we're like trying to you know make the world a better place there, but hopefully, you know, that's a happy side effect. <laughs> now you did mention that you're part of badge life and for anyone wondering, just look up hashtag badge life on lots of different social media. Some people treat it like Pokemon and they try to collect them all. Other people are going for things that fit their personal aesthetic or do something particularly neat. I got a duck badge last year that quacked. <laughs> uh, I, that amused me because I could like make it quack at people. And if there were other duckies nearby, it could quack. So how many swaggy things do you have? Is it just the badge? You maybe mention some t-shirts and do they have to buy those ahead of time and then pick up there or how does that work for badges it's a good idea so f follow our socials especially i think x or twitter or whatever is one of our main ones and when they announce badges for next year i would recommend picking one up ahead of time if as as possible because they they will sell out they sell out every time and it's it's just a matter of like logistics. Like we can only physically carry and build so many like it, ahead of time. I'd love everyone to have one, but it, we, we just limited. So if you want one, definitely buy one ahead of time. Otherwise, we usually have like some limited stuff there at the con too for folks that weren't able to buy ahead of time. But it's it's a bit of a gamble. Uh, but besides badges and and possible t-shirts and stuff. We always have stickers. We have lots of goofy, gothy stickers that are awesome. So if you want to see, like, you know, witchy cat hackers with bats and spiders and stuff, then come see us. <laughs> and for anyone who's not aware, stickers are almost a form of currency. So if you have a wild idea that you could turn into a sticker and you have the free cash to do it, do that and trade them with people or just give them to people and that will instantly make tons of people happy it's so true I, I like to get extra ones and bring them back to my kids and stuff too or lately i've been decorating my dj deck box with all kinds of the fun stickers there too so do you only have gothcon at defcon or does it pop up at other events throughout the year are you open to 
going to other events if they reach out? Yeah, so we were actually, I don't know what I'm allowed to talk about, but we were talking to another event about possibly doing something GothCon related with them. At the moment, it's just DEF CON, although all of us are either throwing our own events, hashtag Mixer Club, or are at least involved with other events, you know, outside anyway. But GothCon right now, it's a very unique experience. Well, I'm sure they can follow your social media to find out if you do pop up any other locations. Which, speaking of, what are all the different places that they could find you? I'm assuming you've got the DEF CON forums, because every official event and contest and party has a different forum place. You mentioned X. Is there any other places around the internet y'all are hiding? Definitely Instagram, and some of us do Twitch streaming too, but I'd say probably between X and Insta is going to be the safest bet for getting all the most of us. There's just so many social media platforms out there, it's a little tricky to like, you know, have a handle on it all, but those are probably your, your safest bets. And how did you personally get involved in the group, if you want to share, and, you know, how might somebody else potentially end up involved volunteering or voluntold into helping out yeah let's see i think i if i remember i was like trolling around on reddit looking at defcon stuff and somebody just happened to mention like something gothy related and i was like oh that sounds interesting and it was it was cat and we just got to talking and then we met up at the at the bar and we were just like yeah this is this is it you know I'm looking around and I'm seeing, you know, like circles of goths with, you know, hack for Satan badges doing like a digital seance and, you know, just all kinds of shenanigans and ridiculous stuff. And I'm like, okay, we gotta, we gotta kick this up to the next level for sure. I'm, I'm so grateful for, for everybody and all the hard work they put into it. I'm just happy to be involved. Honestly, if other people want to get involved too, yeah, hit us up on the socials and Usually every year we need some help doing things like badge assembly or just sorting stuff so to give out and, you know, helping out at the event, especially set up and breakdown is usually something we need help with. Last time was kind of fun because we were at the LVCC instead of Caesars, right? So it was all brand new all over again for everybody. Figure and, it all uh, out from scratch. Exactly. So they, you know, the goons made sure that we had all the stuff that we needed, but there was kind of a breakdown because nope, everyone realized like, oh wait, all the house equipment has to now connect into the house house equipment. And that's like some whole other company and nobody knew how to get a hold of them. So we had to like get some of us engineers together and all like figure out how to use the gear. <laughs> so it's always something, but we figured it out and it worked out okay. There was definitely some interesting things with the lights in some of the rooms that would automatically like change at various times. So oh. Definitely learning experiences this year at the LVCC, which just means next year will be better. Yes, absolutely. And I guess last pit, if I am a brand new person and I'm trying to put together my schedule for where I should be, and when everyone looks at the schedule, they're going to realize you are going to have to make some really tough choices here. What is your pitch that they should come and spend some of that party time over at GothCon? If you want to work out some of those frustrations in a nice, dark, cool, aesthetic setting and stomp out to some really good hard beats with a nice, like, gothy feel, definitely come to GothCon. You will absolutely be accepted. And everyone there stomps the same way, no matter what you look like or where you're from. Thank you so much for being on. And hopefully, everybody, if this piqued your interest, you make sure to star that in Hacker Tracker so you can swing by their party. Bye. Thanks, Nicole.